For today's art activity, I'm going to start by writing my name on my piece of paper and the planet that I'm going to paint. I am going to choose two colors to represent my planet. I am going to mix my acrylic paint with some baking soda. Add just a little bit of paint at a time so that way it doesn't get too runny. The consistency that you are looking for is something similar to chocolate pudding. That looks good. I'm going to put a little bit more of paint in and I'm going to keep mixing with the fork and then I'm going to do my second color. I'm going to mix with the baking soda and add a little bit more acrylic paint. Be careful with the acrylic paint. It is permanent. That means it will not wash out of your clothing. That's looking pretty good. Now we're going to paint today with the forks and I'm going to very sloppily apply the paint inside of the circle. It is okay if some of the paint goes outside of the circle because then when we go to cut it out, you won't have any white spots left around your edges. I am going to do my second color. I'm not going to mix them in completely, but I do want them to overlap a little bit. You can spread it around and that'll create more texture and visual interest when you spray the vinegar onto the paint. Get all the way around, make sure you don't miss any spots. And that looks good. Now I'm gonna set my paint to the side and get my vinegar spray. And I'm going to put a generous amount of vinegar on my paper. It's gonna soak and mix the colors together. And when it dries, it'll have a very nice texture that looks like a planet in outer space. When you are done, put all your materials away wash your hands, leave your paper on the tray so it can dry, and clean up all your stuff and you are finished with today's part of our project. For today's art activity, we are going to construct and put together all the parts of our planet painting. I'm going to start by cutting out the painting of my planet. When you cut out the painting of your planet, you want to cut with your scissors on the inside of the Sharpie line. This way that line does not show in your final work of art. Once you have cut out your circle, we're going to splat our paint some stars that will go behind our planet in the background. I'm going to take two paintbrushes, and with one paintbrush I'm going to put some white paint, and with the other one I'm going to tap the brush several times to splatter the paint across the paper. Sometimes the paint lands in a large clump and sometimes in a small dot. That variety of sizes is good. It makes it look, makes it look more realistic of a star field. That looks pretty good, so I'm going to keep doing this a couple more times. This paint is tempera paint. That means it will wash out if it gets on your clothes, but just be careful with it as you are working. I'm going to set that paint to the side, and I'm going to get my background paper, and I'm going to take some glue, and I'm going to glue a square shape. Now, I would normally put this glue on the back of my black paper, but since it has wet paint on it, I'm just going to kind of guess where it should go and press it down gently. Try to make sure that all the sides are even and spaced the same. That looks pretty good. Then I'm going to glue down my circle that I cut out, and ta-da, I have it finished. And now on the edges, I'm going to write information about my planet. The planet I selected was the planet Mars. Things you might want to think about are, is it an inner planet or an outer planet? What position in the solar system is it? Is it the first, second, third, fourth, fifth planet? What size is it? Is it a gas or a solid planet? Does it have rings? Does it have moons? All of these things are important information that you might want to write around the outside of your picture. I am writing with a Sharpie because I know what I am writing is going to be correct and so that way you can see it better in the video. I highly recommend that you write first with a pencil and then trace over it with a Sharpie once you know it is correct. 
If you are not sure about some of the information for your planet, you are welcome to grab an iPad from the iPad cart and use the internet in Google to look up some of those informational pieces that you might need to know for your work of art. Around the outside edges, we want to write four things that we know about our planets, four attributes that help describe what the planet is. So I'm going to finish up my last one, and then I'm going to put my Sharpie away, clean up all my materials, and I am finished with my art project for today.